दोस्तों डीप टॉक में आज आपका फिर से स्वागत है गाइस वेलकम टू डीप टॉक वंस अगेन एंड हमेशा की तरह मैं बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग लोग लेके आता रहता हूँ जो आपको इंस्पायर करें जो आपको मोटिवेट करें ट्रू स्टार्स ऑफ इंडिया जो हु आर एक्चुअली द ट्रू हीरोज फ्रॉम विच यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट यू कैन सी वो लोग भी इंसान है वो भी ह्यूमन है एंड दे हैव लॉट ऑफ लेसन फॉर यू बिकॉज मैं कितना ज्ञान बांटू यार आपको मेरे और भी अच्छे अच्छे दोस्त हैं लकीली जो आपको बहुत अच्छे बातें बता सकते हैं आई हैव अ ग्रेट फ्रेंड टूडे मोर देन अ गेस्ट एंड हिज नेम इज संदीप अग्रवाल एंड ही इज द फाउंडर ऑफ टू यूनिकॉर्नस एक नहीं या अब आप एक यूनिकॉर्न बनाते बनाते जिंदगी निकल जाती है इन्होंने दो खोली हैं वो उसके बारे में बात करेंगे द वन यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ इज ड्रूम विद ऑल इट्स स्कूल सोशल मीडिया स्टाफ गोइंग ऑन इट्स द कार रीसेलिंग कंपनी लाइक अ यूज कार सेल कंपनी बट संदीप अग्रवाल की सबसे खास बात मैं आपको बताऊँ माई फर्स्ट गेस्ट इन डीप टॉक हु हैज गॉन टू जेल राइट वेलकम टू डीप टॉक थैंक यू चेतन लेट्स बिगिन विद योर चाइल्ड हुड कहाँ पे आपका जन्म हुआ वे वर यू बॉर्न कौन सा हॉस्पिटल था कौन सा शहर था वट डिड योर पेरेंट्स डू आपका घर कैसा था टेल मी टेल मी अबाउट लाइफ एब्सोलूटली सो यू नो आई एम आई वॉज बोर्न एंड रेज इन चंडीगढ़ माई फादर वर्क विद अ गवर्नमेंट एंड ही वॉज अ इंजीनियर सिविल इंजीनियर एंड आई वॉज यू नो वी आर टू ब्रदर टू टू सिस्टर्स मैं सबसे छोटा हूँ और आई वॉज फोर ईयर ओल्ड तब मेरे डैडी का वो ही वर्क फॉर हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट तो चंडीगढ़ से पैदा होने के बाद भी उनकी ट्रांसफ़र होती गई अलग अलग सिटीज़ में स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अ कॉन्वेंट स्कूल इन चंडीगढ़ मुझे अब प्राथमिक शिक्षा केंद्र में भेजा जाता था हिंदी मीडियम हाँ जी बिल्कुल हिंदी मीडियम टिल हाउ लॉन्ग वर यू इन सच स्कूल्स आई वाज इन दैट सच स्कूल फॉर एक्चुअली फॉर नेक्स्ट ऑलमोस्ट अनटिल माई आई वुड से अनटिल माई टेंथ ग्रेड मैंने बड़ी मुश्किल से बी ख़त्म की तो उसके बाद एंड सो माय ब्रदर वाज वे हेड ऑफ इस टाइम तो उसने ही वाज वेरी सक्सेसफुल तो देन आई ज्वाइन हिम मैं मैंने चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी में एनरोल कर लिया सो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम आई वर्क विद कोटक महिंद्रा गोल्डमैन सेक्स जॉइंट वेंचर फॉर माय इंटर्नशिप हेयर इन मुंबई एंड देन दे वॉन्टेड आफ्टर माई ग्रेजुएशन दे वॉन्टेड मी टू ज्वाइन दैम बट दैन माई ब्रदर सेड ही वॉज स्टार्टिंग से बी अप्रूवड इन्वेस्टमेंट मर्चेंट बैंकिंग फॉर्म कैटेगरी टू मर्चेंट बैंकिंग फॉर्म एंड ही सैड आई हैव अ वेरी थ्राइविंग सी ए प्रैक्टिस तुम्हें सी ए नहीं करना और सी ए टाइप का नहीं करना बट इसको कर लो एंड ये एज इट इज़ बॉम्बे में भी यही करोगे सो दैट इज़ वट सो आफ्टर माई ग्रेजुएशन आई वैन बैक अगेन टू चंडीगढ़ एंड स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन दिस दैट टाइम माई कज़न वॉज राइटिंग अ जी मैट एग्जाम सो ही टोल्ड मी दैट वाई डोंट यू डू द सेम थिंग सो ही टोल्ड मी एट अ टाइम एंड आई वॉज लिटिल लेट फॉर दैट ईयर बट स्टिल आई एंड राइटिंग अ जी मैट एग्जाम and i got accepted at uh, you know washington university in st louis it was among the top uh, 12 or 15 mba programs in the world so i accepted that and then in 99 during the peak of dot com boom i moved to us i start my first time full time job in san francisco there was one job which i like it was came to me like a dream job i applied that night to my to my surprise next day i got a call i could tell it's from seattle and was a recruiter for microsoft and they also li- liked my profile for the same job and how did shop clues start then so with shop clues i opened india's first ever marketplace independent of category and we were the 35th entrant into indian e-commerce and within 9 months chetan we became the third largest yes or shop clues grew it became a unicorn and this talk this thing could have ended right here ki dekho bhai happy ending ho gayi lekin picture abhi baki hai mere dost कहते हैं ना लाइफ में होता सोचते कुछ हो होता कौन है एंड आई थिंक यू फेस्ड इट मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स एंड देन केम दैट ड्रेडेड डे टेल मी अबाउट दैट ड्रेडेड डे वन डे आई एम नाउ स्टेइंग विद माय एक्स वाइफ कजन इन सैन ओजे कैलिफोर्निया एंड वी गो टू चीज केक फैक्ट्री एंड वी आर कमिंग बैक टू हिज होम ही इज ड्राइविंग आई एम सिटिंग इन हिज ऑडी इन द फ्रंट सीट माई एक्स वाइफ एंड किड्स आर सिटिंग द बैक सीट नाउ दिस इज वेयर द मूवी स्टार्ट सो I see his house. He presses a button to garage door is opening, and he takes a car inside. The moment he takes a car inside, thirteen FBI cars surround our car so that we cannot run. There are lot of agents getting down from these thirteen cars, maybe two to three per car. They all are wearing a black color jacket which says FBI in white color. They many of them have a walkie-talkie, many of them have a gun in their hand, and they come and knock my door and says, and I draw the window down. and they say who is sandeep agarwal i said i am sandeep agarwal he said mr agarwal we have a arrest warrant for you i said for what 
they said when you worked on Wall Street five years back, you gave insider trading information to Stephen, a, a portfolio manager who worked at Stephen A. Cohen. Stephen A. Cohen was one of the most high profile hedge funds of the world. Mm -hmm. And this arrest warrant from a judge in New York. And this is an indict, indictment. So I was indicted. Then they remove actually laces from my shoes, thinking that I may strangulate them. And then they handcuffed me, put me in the back seat of one of the car, exactly how, you know, uh, pushing my face down. So I have a handcuff, my hands are behind, and the handcuff is really hurting my hand. I tell them that can you adjust it? They, they paid no hoot. Then they take me to this place near Chevron Oil Refinery, in north of San Francisco. Or picture they press one button, one door opens, car goes inside, it is still the next door is open, uh, closed. So then car goes inside, that the, this door closed, then the next door opens so that and then they take me inside. Then they take me inside. They are, there's a doctor waiting for me. He's che checking my temperature, my blood pressure, taking all that, you know, what's your marital status, what is your age, do you have any allergies? Do you have any like diabetes or blood pressure or anything, right? And then they put me to uh, to a cell. So this cell has roughly 30, 35 people already in it. This is a single cell, and they they right, and uh, and uh, and Chetan, this was exactly a scene from jail in Narcos, right? Like all these people, you could tell they had a highest amount of tattoos. Many of them are visibly smell of smelling of strong drug or alcohol, uh, right? And you know it was like really you don't want to be with those people. Then they took me to the federal court. There I see my ex-wife, and she looks like ten year older. She looks like blood like bloody eyes, like as if she just aged overnight. She saw me. She's crying, and she says, "Sandeep, we are finished." Shortly after you got arrested. Preet Bharara tweeted about you. You are on the front page of Wall Street Journal, New York Times, the LA Times, the Tribune, everywhere. That you are arrested and yes, you did. Yes. Huh. yes. So we are finished. We are all over the all, all over the place, right? Uh, right. I've been getting non-stop calls from the investors in uh, shop cruise investors from India too. And then parallelly, I'm hearing the Department of Justice and FBI agents are telling judge that your owner, please put him in jail. He says, what crime? So they explain the crime. He said, this, this does, is he a threat to society? He says, no. But then, then, then they said, Why? then I'm not going to put him in jail. He says, but your owner, he lives in India. He's a flight risk. So he says, judge says, who has a passport? They said, your owner passport is with us. So judge says, done, I'm going to grant him a bail. Next five months, I was uh, in the USA. Or I came up with a Doomka idea. And uh, luckily, the first two investors who supported me in Shop Blues actually did support me, to my surprise, because I thought I was untouchable now. Mm. But they supported me uh, uh, with, uh, with Droom. In such a difficult time also, you were able to say, what will be my next company? So, so uh, Chetan, actually it was not that simple. Uh, from July 2013 until April 2014, my mother and my ex-wife actually thought I would maybe even commit suicide. I was that vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And in hindsight, I feel that they were perhaps not wrong. That idea would have occurred to me several times. Really? Because it was like, you know, because see, I felt that other than getting killed accidentally in a road accident or a doctor telling you that you have leukemia and three months left, I thought whatever what was happening to me was a third worst. Mm -hmm. I'm alive, but my, uh, my all the wings have been chopped. My 15 years of hard work and, and rigor has gone to the dumps, reputation damage, family suffering, no money. There's, you know, it was really bad time. What happened in the marriage? What is your read? Of course, there are two versions, so I know. Yeah, yeah. Chetan, there's, there is always a two version, uh, you know. Uh, my, my, take is, my take is that uh, my legal case, and you heard, you, you landed your ear to me, heard it very patiently. Uh, my take is that, um, it was not a trauma only for me. It was also trauma for my ex-wife. It was trauma for my kids. It was trauma for my parents, right? And when you come out of trauma, either you are the same person or you are different. 
I don't think you or I will ever know the right answer. But my best guess is she come out of the trauma as a different person. Because when I came back after 18 months, while we were married for 18 years, we dated for three years, it did not feel like the same people in the, uh, under the same roof. What advice, if you are your little brothers, who are watching, your little all these people who want to do something in life. The moment human being is born, he is exposed to love, death, disease, legality. So if any of those things are happening to you, welcome to life. Right? So when it happens to yourself, it gets a lot of intensity, then you get to understand. In the insider trading cases, I also heard a lot of the divorce. But when it happens to yourself, it gets to understand how much it is. So first of all, I will say that when there is such a thing, then the worst thing a human being can do, and I have stayed there borderline, is being in a self-pity phase. Why me? Drain or shine, you should never be in a self-pity because it is a slippery slope. Second is, I think hope and human spirit are the only thing which makes us different from any other, hum any other animal species on the face of this planet. One of the biggest things I have learned is one of your biggest possession is relationship. So my advice to all the, your audience is that invest for long-lasting relationships. You know, I had to, go, the, the, uh, the, my pain, I could not share my pain with someone else, even the someone who loved me the most. But everyone came to mitigate my pain in the manner they could. Mm. And that all happened because of the relationship. Yeah. Guys, very different lessons today. But these are the, this is real life, man. And this is real life. Hai. And I, I want to thank you. And friends, this is the world. It will never be a road. 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 Upar, niche, khaiyaan bhi aayengi. Sab kuch aayega. And you have to keep the hope. You have to keep the spirit. And self-pity. अपने ऊपर यू नो सॉरी हिंदी में से वो क्या बोले रंडी रोना नहीं करना है वो करोगे ना तो से कुछ नहीं होगा संदीप अग्रवाल थैंक यू सो मच आई नो यू हैव कम स्पेशली फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू डू दिस यू हैव अ फ्लाइट थैंक यू सो मच एब्सोल्युटली माय थैंक यू सो मच